Hello, this is John with GoGardenDown.com. We're going to start filling up these Vigo garden beds that I put together the other day. There was a video earlier that I showed you of me unboxing the uh, product, and I hope you uh, learned something from it. Let's go garden now. I don't usually go through here and pick up these magnolia cones and I don't rake up all the leaves either. I just go over it and mow them down, chop them up real good and fine. And then the material either stays as a mulch underneath this magnolia tree here which helps to keep the weeds down there are a few vines coming up in there but i'll whack them later but if it's out here in the lawn i just chop them up real good with the mower and it returns the leaf mulch to the soil and helps to enrich the soil and i don't have to deal with the homeowners association complaining about leaves in my yard either so that's a plus now you might ask aren't you going to have a bed full of magnolias coming up in your vegetable garden you putting all these down in the bottom i don't know maybe but i think that the pileated woodpeckers You've done a pretty good job picking out the seeds. I haven't seen any of those red seeds yet. You see, they look like they've been picked clean. Well, we'll see. Have you had any experience with this yourself? If you have, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, while I'm thinking about it, why don't you go click that like button, the thumbs up, and... Uh, let us know what you think about it, and uh, we'll come back later sometime and talk about the results. One thing's for sure, I'll have to buy far less topsoil or potting soil to go in this garden with all of this material underneath it. Will all this work as I hope? Well, I don't know. I think it will. The contents of the stay green potting soil or garden soil uh, differs depending upon the region. Uh, generally, it contains peat, uh, recycled forest products or rice hulls, sphagnum peat moss, perlite, dolomitic limestone, and a wetting agent. This will give you an idea of what the stay green garden soil looks like. You see a lot of pine bark in there, a lot of pine bark, and I suppose here's the fertilizer. You can see the perlite mixed in there.
this is the uh, jungle, jungle growth soil, and I'm not seeing that much visible difference between the content of this brand and the Stay Green brand. We'll see how they perform in the long run.